When the Korean War broke out, UN member nations did not hesitate to send help. Seoul invited the selfless warriors from across the globe to give thanks and to honor them. Kan Young-woo takes us to the scene. South Korea's Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs held a ceremony Friday morning to commemorate the United Nations troops who fought in the Korean War. As July 27th marks the 65th anniversary of the Korean War armistice. To remember their sacrifices, the government invited 2,000 people, including UN veterans, foreign ambassadors, government officials, and South Korean citizens to the ceremony at Dongdaemun Design Plaza. After the 23 national flags and the UN flag were marched in, the event began with Korean national anthem and a moment of silence for the fallen heroes. Two foreign soldiers who defended South Korea were honored for their sacrifices in particular. From the Philippines, the late Conrado D. Yap, who died in the war, killed 120 enemy soldiers to win a key battle. His daughter accepted on his behalf the Taeguk military merit. My father's death is not in vain. Because the way I look at Korea now, it has progressed so much. It is really amazing. And Brian Per, a veteran from the United Kingdom, was honored with the Order of Civil Merit. He contributed to establishing the Korean War Monument in London. What I feel is that the way the South Korean people have developed this country and the capability of the senior diplomats, the senior soldiers, inevitably there will be a reunification sometime. Shortly after the Korean War broke out in 1950, the UN Security Council called on its member states to defend South Korea. Sixteen countries sent military forces and six other countries provided medical assistance. In total, almost two million people came to help. Although today's memorial ceremony lasted about an hour, the UN veterans and the sacrifices they made will always be remembered. Kan Young-woo, Arirang News.